y'all god bless you today's video is another monday makeup and devotional i really pray that y'all are blessed by the devotional that i share before we get started please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's devotional hey y'all today is monday december 5th and the title of today's devotional is go to the right source and it begins by saying, who do you consult when you have a problem? Here's the deal. Worry is talking to yourself. Faith is talking to God. When you ask yourself questions, it's pretty predictable. You're going to ask yourself something like, is this going to get better? Am I ever going to be okay? Then the little devil on your shoulder whispers in your ear that nothing is going to be okay. In other words, you'll never tell yourself the truth that you need to hear. Instead, you'll almost always hear a negative message. And on the other hand, when you talk to God and not yourself, amazing transformation can occur. Look at these words from Jesus from his lesson on prayer as recorded by Matthew in Matthew 6.6. 6. Here's what I want you to do. Find a quiet, secluded place so you won't be tempted to role play before God. Just be there as simply and honestly as you can manage. The focus will shift from you to God and you will begin to sense his grace. Did you catch that last sentence? When you talk to God instead of yourself, the focus will shift from you to him and you will begin to sense his grace. How beautiful is that? Today, I want to give you a practical challenge to help you do this. Wear a rubber band around your wrist. And when you're having a bad day or you catch yourself heading down a path toward worry, pull the rubber band back and let it slap your wrist. I know I'm, I'm serious and I know this sounds crazy, but just doing this will train your mind to focus on God and not yourself. Who are you consulting when you have a problem? Every time you look down at the rubber band on your wrist, let it be a reminder of the place where your focus should be on the one who is strong enough to handle anything you throw at him. Today's Bible verse comes from Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 through 7. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good will come and settle you down. It's wonderful what happens when Christ displaces worry at the center of your life. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus, Father, and I thank you for each person that has heard and received from this devotional, Father God. I pray that they will allow you to be their source their source of comfort, their source of peace, their source of joy, their source of encouragement. I pray, Father God, that when things may not be going exactly how they would hope, that they would turn to you, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that we are able to cast our cares onto you because you care for us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all, that wraps up this video. I really pray that y'all were blessed by the devotional that I shared. If you have any prayer requests, please feel free to let me know. I would love to pray for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. God bless y'all today and always, and I will see you in my next video.